Despite some amazing advances in medicine, we can't cure everything, and many people have to learn to live with their symptoms, which can be very embarrassing. But it's usually the public who are more embarrassed of the condition than the people living with it. And here's how one lady's learned to cope with hers. Today, we're with Gemma, who's been living with cystic fibrosis all her life. The worst part for me is the embarrassment because when I'm coughing and I'm getting out of breath and people, you know, saying, oh, you're all right, do you want some water and things? And I know they're just being nice, but it's the fact that I know that people are, you know, looking at me. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic, life-threatening disease that affects over 8,500 people in the UK. Five babies are born every week with cystic fibrosis. The condition affects the internal organs, especially the lungs, by clogging them with a thick mucus. Physio is something that I have to do on a daily basis and it helps loosen the mucus off the chest because otherwise they just build up and build up. <laughs> mucus is quite thick and disgusting and I, I, it makes me feel sick looking at it so I don't, I don't really want to force anyone else to look. Cystic fibrosis can also affect other things like your sinuses and your digestive system, your liver, your bones. <clears throat> just everything really. People with cystic fibrosis find it difficult to put weight on so we have to have quite a high calorie diet. 600 calories of goodness. People are jealous that I can eat whatever I want and I don't put weight on. Um, and they joke, oh you know I wish I had CF. I'm like well you can have it, you can have mine if you want. I'd rather have weight problems. The life expectancy of CF is 35 years. I've got 11 years left, apparently. There's no point in moping around. Treatments have got better, people are living longer. And just want to try and enjoy my life, I suppose. <laughs>